We're super excited about Colony. It's the, the next DLC leader in Halo Wars 2. We wanted to get back to the Banished as soon as we could, and Colony is an amazing addition to the roster. Everybody loves Hunters. <laughs> They've never been in charge. They've never had a personality. They've always been completely alien threat from the Covenant. But now we've got a hunter calling the shots, and it's uh, cooking up some pretty interesting fun for Halo Wars 2. One of the most exciting new units that we have with Colony are the Skitterers. Each Skitterer is a Legolo powered turret with legs. In a way, many, many, many scarabs, but in uh, large numbers and with the right tactics, uh, can be sometimes just as deadly. But their real power comes in actually attaching to other units. Uh, and depending on the size of that unit, uh, you can attach one, two, or even up to three skitterers to basically be uh, associated turrets that follow that unit around and help defend it. Goliaths are another new unit the colony has, and they're hunters on steroids. Fans are used to encountering hunters in Halo as a pair. They're always you know, these Bond brother pair. Well, the Goliath Hunter is both of those, uh, both of those units all put together into one. It's like a, a just a wild primate, uh, you know, running through the enemy lines. It's it's insane. Colony has a new hero unit, the Hunter Captain, uh, which is another very strong hunter unit with a heavy, heavy set of armor. The thing I love most about Hunter Captain is its ability to taunt other nearby units to attack it. It makes for an amazing uh, tank unit uh, and basically allows you to draw fire uh, off of uh, your other units that are trying to make an attack. So Legolo has a number of new uh, leader powers that I think are really interesting and are going to change up gameplay quite a lot. One of the new powers is Living Barrier. Basically is a series of smaller like Golo colonies in armored kind of caltrop, tank trot, you know, uh, types of uh, barriers. You have the ability to really kind of have some area denial aspects to your play. You can, you know, cordon off certain areas, trap enemy players. At, there's so many possibilities. Vehicle Symbiotes is another power that I think is going to be really helpful for players. When you cast it, basically you've got Legolo worms moving into that vehicle and taking over to help pilot and basically increase its damage. Uh, more speed, more damage, just it kind of you know, mixes up across the battlefield. But again, it's this idea of many uh, smaller entities working together uh, to form a larger threat. In addition to the other hunter-related powers that Colony has, um, it also has a really good ability to drop in uh, additional armies on the fly uh, with a devastating host or a colony drop. Um, and it has a great offensive power in the form of Hunter's Brand, which is basically a beam weapon attack that has very little warning uh, and a quick cooldown. So we're really excited to bring Colony out for Halo Wars 2 uh, and see a little bit more about the Banished and what kind of soldiers, what kind of leaders Atriox has in store for us in the future. There's some really exciting options coming down the line, uh, but for now we're going to see a whole new view of the Hunters through Colony. Hope you have fun.